But at the moment, I sleep down at Conley Station. There's maybe 20 of us sleep at Conley Station every night. We sleep close together for body warm. Um, we usually have, a, you know, cardboard underneath us, sleeping bag over us. As I said, we sleep tightly together to, for body warmth. Um, during the day, we may go to Brother Luke's in the morning for a breakfast, for a dinner, in the afternoon. Other than that, we walk the streets all day. Half of the city centre at the moment is all homeless. Like, not what you're walking down across here or up and down the streets. You go into any of the laneways or the back alleys, they're all homeless sleeping. There's, there's, like what you see in daily life here, this is in reality. You know, all them laneways behind them buildings are full of homeless. You know, full of homeless. This homeless sleep out were freezing cold every night. Every night. There's probably up to easy a thousand people in this surrounding area sleeping rough. Easy in this city centre just here yeah, sleeping rough. The government is doing nothing. The government is doing nothing. I'm not a political person but I think if Sinn Fein well, and I never thought I'd say that, but I think if Sinn Féin got, got in, they would do something about the homeless. Fein the guy, Fein the father, they're doing nothing. They're all landlords. They're all making serious money. I mean, they were getting nothing off us because we were homeless and in emergency accommodation. If they could all go down outside the CCJ courts and camp outside the CCJ court make it aware about the Irish homeless and what's going on on the streets because the little issue they had in O'Connor Street with four or five tents letting people know that there is homelessness now there that was a joke there's many more homeless than that many more homeless that it's not mentioned you know the homeless are just forgotten about I just I don't know, I'll do something small to get into prison. Um, I see, I've just come from prison. I was in there for over nine months uh, on a trespass charge um, because I, I refused to leave a hostel when I was given two hours notice. And um, so I was arrested and charged with trespass, public order. And I refused to sign the bail because I had nowhere to go and things like that. And, I, I can't really just go to any host, hostel because I well look at my age and I've I've health issues as well so um, I, I I don't want to be in a room with a, a lot of other people you know so um, so I thought I thought look I just go to prison uh, it's not it's not great in Trouble Hill it's not great at all the, the medical treat, treatment that's a joke it's not treatment at all that hope was there it's so bad. I, so, but I'm not interested in bringing a case for my own sake because I'm out now. But for the sake of other prisoners, there somebody needs to somebody needs to tell the story of what's going on in there. It's appalling in, in there. I was on landing D2 in Tower Hill. That's loony landing, basically. It's when you're supposed to be nuts. But yeah, um, yeah. Like I mean, the, the way you they they're, they're they are. Forensic psychiatrists or psychiatric team, they call it a Pickles team. I forget what Pickles stands for, it's P I C C L S or something. They call it the Pickles team and uh, they don't do anything for you. So, all the, all the people going around to help the homeless and all that, they, they give food all the time and they sleeping bags, that type of thing. I mean, I was thrown out of the prison with, uh, with only the prison clothes, very light prison clothes. Uh, apparently, apparently, according to, I went in there bollock naked and with no shoes on me. So, um, because they, uh, they weren't there when I went looking for them. All my my phones, I had a number of phones and things in a bag that I went to prison with, and they disappeared. I think the government have got themselves into a right mess over the years by not doing what they should have been doing. And it's getting late now. Um, it's obviously too late for a lot of people, but I mean, I'm not sure what they can do. Uh, I, 
Sinn Féin are making some good points, but unfortunately, if they got into power, I don't think they would do much better because you just can't suddenly build a whole lot of houses just like that, you know. So I don't know. Um, and then with all the refugees and so on, it's just there's just so many houses needed, so much accommodation needed. I don't see how they're going to get out of this mess. Most people, most people, they say most people now that they're worried about putting food on the table and they're worried about, and they're worried about keeping the lights on and the heat on. But t as far as I'm concerned, an awful lot of people are just worried about how they're going to get the next Ryanair flight to the sun, it seems to me, you know. So, um, I don't know. I don't think people are going to give much of a damn anyway, to be honest. They'll give you bits on the street and all, but when it comes down to it, they do fuck all.